Vlogmas day two. I just dropped my kids off at school, getting ready to head to work. Not really an exciting part of the day, but I'll bring you along this evening as we have some other little Christmas activities planned. I did a Walmart online order to get gingerbread houses for tonight. I got a Minions one for my daughter because she was obsessed and that's what she requested. And then I found an Oreo one online for my son that I really liked, but they were out. So they substituted it for this. It's like a little skating rink is what it says. So it looks like a house, but it's got all the trees and the penguins and everything. It'll be cute. So hopefully he'll like it. Since I didn't have anything that I really like for the adults online, I'm gonna run in Walmart now and see what they have. Okay, so we're home, and before we get started on the gingerbread houses, we're gonna do supper. I am just gonna make ham and Swiss sliders in a large mixing cup. I have already melted down half a cup of butter. I'm gonna put in one tablespoon of dried minced onion and one and a half tablespoons of poppy seeds. I'm going to mix that really well and set it to the side. I have about 15 mini little slider rolls or dinner rolls. I'm just going to cut the tops off of those and get those ready to place our ham on. <music> Now it's time to assemble the slider rolls. I have about a half a pound of thin sliced deli ham. I'm gonna only layer about half of this on the bottom of my dinner rolls and then I will top it with my Swiss cheese and then the rest of the ham I will put on top of the cheese before we put the tops back on. time to put the tops back on and just try to place it as evenly as possible mine didn't turn out perfect but that's okay then we're gonna top with that butter and onion and poppy seed mixture and then make sure that you just spread this all out I used a little pastry brush to try to cover each individual roll top <laughs> Bake them at 350 for about 20 minutes until they're golden brown and all the butter is melted. Now it's time for the gingerbread houses. Taylor has these really long nails, so it was hard for her to put hers together. Justin flew through his. My mom, I did not know, had never put a gingerbread house together as a child. She never did, and when I was a kid, I always wanted to do them. My son's was absolutely adorable, but actually really hard to put together. I think my mom's is probably one of my favorites because she took a little bit of candy from like everybody's pile and made her own little creation. And how cute are these little banana shingles for the Minions house? My poor little house it kept falling apart the icing kept falling through the roof my son ended up not finishing his because his attention span wouldn't allow him to so he's gonna finish his today Justin flew through his and his turned out so cute my mom's is adorable and Taylor's is probably the most well put together and neatest looking one of all see you tomorrow for the parade and a trip through Bethlehem at a local church <laughs> 